All right, so what's my final thoughts on the card? I think it's an excellent card. I think for 500k, you're well worth to do the SBC. I think he's a lot better than um, his competitors, which is Diego Carlos as well as Varane. I don't think he's quite as good as Team of the Season Ramos. Um, however, I think them two as a partnership is probably the best, um, the best at centre back in the game. Few of the few of the key stats is he is strong links. He ticks all the right boxes when it comes to his stats, including the pace, agility, balance, and the responsiveness. You can feel it. You can feel it in game that he's really. Um, Every stat that you need to be a good centre back, he's got all those boxes ticked, and um, for every stat that you need, for every stat that you look at in a centre back, he's got all those ticks. Um, he's got all the boxes ticked. Um, He's got all the boxes ticked for the stats that you are looking at in a centre back from his pace to his agility and balance. So it really feels like you're super in control of him when you are, when you are defending and jockeying. And he's got that really responsive sort of feel that I think when you compare him to Varane, um, you are kind of missing. Um, That paired with his, um, that paired with his link ability, with his nation as well as Real Madrid, which is very, very easy club to link with. Now that we've got guys like Sergio Ramos and Mendy as well, um, as well as the, that paired with his uh, link ability, also looks pretty good. The guy's also super easy to link to. You've got um, a perfect link. To... The guy's also super easy to link to. You've got a perfect link with Marcelo. Um, Shapeshift is Marcelo, as well as you got links to Mendy, as well as uh, Sergio Ramos, if you'd like to. His club and nation offer a very good. Um, his club and nation off. Um, his club and nation make it very easy to link him to other players. Um, let's say. And his um. And his club and nation make it very easy to uh, link to players such as. Shapeshifters, Marcelo or uh, Mendy, we've got Carvajal, Tots, Ramos as well. They're all uh, excellent players that you can link around him and, and build a team around. The only thing I'd say is his downside is the two-star weak foot. You do notice it a little bit. You try not to um, try not get him onto his left left foot. However, I think um, besides that, his distribution's okay. Um, the 86 strength I did notice was a little bit weak as well, so I'd probably recommend putting an anchor and anchor chem style on him, uh, and that will boost up his strength just a little bit as well as max out his aggression. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a good card. I think you should definitely do the SBC, especially if you are running a La Liga team or Brazilian sort of links. Um, but yeah, that was my. But yeah, that was my review of the flashback Eda Militaire. If you liked the video. So that was my review of the flashback. So that was the review of my that was the review of the 
Flashback Edim So that was the review of the Flashback Edim Miller TL. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn post notifications on to not miss any other videos.